Okay, so let's try one that has parentheses involved. Now there's two ways you can go about doing this one. You can get rid of your parentheses first and then you work it as usual, or you could just follow your order of operations to the T and you'll get it solved. So I'm going to show both ways. I'm going to do this one in. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do this one by doing the parentheses first, and then I'll make another video for the one where we just do order of operation. All right. So if we're going to do the parentheses first, then that means that we're going to need to use the distributive property. So here we go. You get rid of a parentheses and you know what the distributive property. You multiply everything that's inside the parentheses by the number directly in front of the parentheses, right? Or it could be behind it, but it's the number that's directly outside of the parentheses, right? So we use the four to multiply the x, and we use the four to multiply the one. So that's what we have there. Now if we go ahead and perform that operation, we end up with four x, Plus 4 is equal to 24. And we follow the rest of our order of operations from here. So we know that we're going to do our addition or subtraction first. So we're going to get rid of the plus 4 part first. But let's not skip any steps. Let's work, for, let's work through it following by. So we find our variable first. And that's what we have right here. We have our x. So that's our variable. We're not done until our x is by itself. Then we look for or I, which is to isolate the variable by performing our inverse operation. The inverse operation that we're going to do first is we're going to get rid of the addition of 4 that's taking place here, so we need to do a subtraction of 4. So here we go. We have 4x plus 4, and to undo the addition, you subtract 4. And of course, since we did that to this side, we also need to balance it by subtracting 4 from the other side as well. So we consider our equality is there. And then we evaluate. So we break this down, or we simplify it, and we see what we have from here. So we have 4x plus 4 minus 4, that's just 0. And then we have 24 minus 4, and that's just 20. Okay? And then here, we look, we're not done because our variable is not by itself. So we need to go another round of by. So we found our variable, good. We need to perform inverse operation to further isolate our variable. So we look and we see 4x, which is just 4 multiplied by x. So to in the inverse operation that we need to perform to undo this multiplication is division. So we divide this side by 4. Of course, we need to do our balancing act, so we need to do both sides. Divide that side by 4 as well. And now 4 divided by 4 is just 1, so we have our x. That invisible one is there, and then we have 20 divided by 4. It's 5. Again, you can check your answers by substitution. So we go 4 multiplied by 5 plus 1. Thank you for parentheses should be equal to 24. So 5 plus 1 is 6, multiplied by 4 equals 24, which means our answer is correct. All right? So that's the first approach.